Hey, good afternoon and welcome. My name is Sandra. My channel is Sussex Sandra. Welcome to my channel. Right, this afternoon I've got a little bit of energy and as usual I'm working from home. Wink, wink, so we know what that means. It means that I'm going to be filming a couple of videos. So I'm doing two videos this afternoon and the first video is a, how can I put this? If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I have a little bit of an obsession with QVC. I do like buying their makeup collections, especially when they have their TSVs, Today's Special Values. Now, um, so recently, I think it was last weekend, so we're talking about the, it was over the last weekend in June or the week before, they had a Today's Special Value from Tarte. Tarte is a brand I've got really mixed feelings about, but there's one thing I can't deny. I can't deny the quality of some of their foundations and their eyeshadow palettes. I mean, to be honest, their eyeshadow palettes are my most favorite. The quality of their eyeshadows are absolutely brilliant. I just love them, love them so much. I mean, my go-to eyeshadow palette still to this day, even though I bought it probably about three years ago, four years ago, is the Tarte Tartius Pro. If I could show it to you so you know which one I'm talking about, let me find it quickly. Right, so it's this palette. So I'm not quite sure how old it is. I think it's about three, four years old, mainly. Um, it's It's got a lot of neutral colours in it, but if I open it up, it's just... I just love these colours. I mean, you can see the colours that I use every day, near enough. I mean, this colour up here, um, yeah, it's just my all-over shade colour. And all of the colours, nearly all of them, apart from probably that one, I use. I use every single one of them. So, yeah, love this palette. It's my all-time favourite. So, so I did buy the Today's Special Value from QVC, and I also bought another eyeshadow palette. So I'll show that to you quickly now. Right, it's this one. It's called the... Tartius Pro Remix and it's not like I really need an eyeshadow palette it's only because I saw the colours and I knew that it was going to be tart quality and I thought oh bloody hell I had to buy this you know someone was just like they just it was like a something took over my body I reached for my mobile I just ding, 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 and the next thing you know it was ordered so yeah look at this palette so I bought this palette as well and check these colours out Ooh. Look at those colours. Oh, I absolutely love those colours. These colours look fantastic. Look at them. So I can't wait to try that one out. But that's not what I'm talking about today. Today, my video is about the makeup collection from Tarte. And this is it. I'll show it to you. So they call it the Tarte Effortless essentials collection and I think it was a six piece collection they had something like six shades I think it was about six shades it was a usual pathetic shade range available from QVC and in fact they didn't actually have a shade in foundation for me but fortunately I've already got the foundation in the shade for me so the deepest shade they had available for for people of colour for deep skin people of colour was deep sand and it's not really that deep they did have a model who they had on the show who was wearing it but the colour was so not for her it really didn't match her skin tone at all they had deep sand then they had tan sand which um, was the shade I bought this in because I basically I bought this collection for my daughter I look after my daughter so I bought this daughter for my collection so I'm hoping the tan sand will be suitable for her then they had sort of two or three sort of like medium shades and I think they had one I would say one light shade and one fair shade. So it was very much, the whole shade range was very much favoured towards the medium shade range. So um, I'll just clarify that actually. Let's have a quick look. Because I'm telling you that, but I want to make sure I'm giving you the right information. Right, so yeah, the, it was a five piece Effortless Essentials makeup collection. Um, it's now selling for 60 pounds with three pound 95 postage and packaging. I didn't pay that obviously. I paid, I paid um, 
£39.98, so not £60, and it was £1.95 per student packaging because because the whole of June was they gave um, £1.95 per student packaging for all beauty products. So in total, I paid £41.93, whereas if you were to buy the collection now, you'd be paying £63.95, so it's £20 difference. So the shades available, well, the shades that were available were, um, let's have a look. So we had Tan Sand, which is the one my daughter's got, and that's now sold out. They've got Medium Sand, so that's the only shade available now. They had Light Sand, which is sold out. Light Medium Sand, sold out. Fair Sand, sold out. And Deep Sand, which was the deeper shade, and that's sold out. So the only shade available now is medium sand, but it is £63.95 if you buy it now. I mean, it's still you're still making your value because Tarte products aren't cheap, you know. So you're still making a, a pretty massive saving, but it's not as good as if you had purchased it in a today's special value. So anyway, let me show you what the what's in the collection. Right, so I said it looks like that. Really nice packaging. Um, I'm not going to destroy the packaging too much because, as I said, it is for my daughter. Not for me. Okay, so they've got a little bag like that, and if I remember correctly, the bag, yeah, <laughs> the bag had cute little pom poms like that. So that was a little bag that came with it. So let's put that in there. And whoops, Daisy, this was the collection. So that's what the collection looks like, just like that okay so you've got this is an eyeshadow palette that's the foundation that's the foundation brush this is the new mascara that they're launching what are they calling this mascara again it's called the big ego so this is yeah so this is a new range of products that Tarte have launched and then they had a sort of a neutrally lip gloss at the bottom there right so i am going to be using the majority of these products just trying them out um i don't mind sharing my mascara with my daughter so that's all right and she doesn't mind sharing it with me i think is the most important way to say that around obviously i'm not going to be using the foundation because it's not my shade um i'm not going to use the brush because i've got my own tart brush like this already so i'll be using that so what i will be using today i'll be using the gloss I'll try out the eyeshadow, I'll try the mascara, I've got my own foundation and I've got my own brush. Yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing today. So, before we start all of that, let's prep my skin, shall we? Alright, so I need to tone my skin first, so I need a toner, let's get a toner. Right, so I'm using the toner I got from, I can't remember which box it was, I think it was a Cos box back in April. I love using this toner. I think it's because it's got witch haze in it. It just feels so nice and refreshing on my face. I'm going to try out um, this product. It came in, what did it come in? I think it came in my my June ASOS box. I just really wanted to try it. It's like a, it's supposed to be a smoothing treatment lotion. I don't know if it's a moisturizer or a toner or a serum let's have a look because if it's too thick then i won't use it because i'm going to be putting on a moisturizer oh it is it's actually quite it's quite watery so i should be able to get away with using that I'm not quite sure what it does but i just want to try it out see what it is i'm treating it like a it smells nice i'm treating it like a another lotion stroke serum of some sort it smells nice as well okay so there's that give that a go see what it's like don't know feels nice though um so for my moisturizer i'm going to do a product that has two um uses so it's a moisturizer and a primer and it's one we got in the I can't remember which box it was it was in a june box don't know which box it was i think it was in the asos june box again actually so um it's from emma hardy and it's called protect and prime it has spf 30 which is fine so i'm going to use that as my moisturizer stroke primer today got the SPF in it you can see by that kind of white glaze that's 
on my face there. Okay, here we go. That's me covered, me thinks. That should be enough protection for today. Okay, all right, let's put some of these products on, shall we? Okay, so I've got my own tart brush. Let's get my foundation out. So this foundation is pretty old. The shade that actually works for me is Rich Honey and they just never, QVC just never do the really deep shades when it comes to tar. I don't know why they won't include at least, at least two if not three deep shades. You know, they're doing all the white skin shades. So let's put a couple more light because they're, you know, tar have got a good shade range when it comes to this brand range I think they've got something like 30 shades in this range so they can easily afford to do at least two or three light two or three fair two or three medium two or three tan and two or three deep they can do it you know and that's still only going to give them what say 10 to 15 shades out of the 13 shades they've got but to only offer sort of five or six shades and most of them are concentrating the medium shades it's very limited in this day and age so I think QVC really need to just just negotiate a bit harder with Tarte, with Tarte and get some more shades in so this is my shade it's Rich Honey so I'm going to put this on this foundation is actually pretty good um, it's called the Am Amazonian Clay Full Coverage so it is full coverage and it's got a broad spectrum SPF 15 sunscreen and um, if I just read you the properties of what they say about the foundation so the foundation is 50 mils in a choice of fair sand, light sand, light medium, sand, medium sand, tan sand or deep sand. A long wearing blendable foundation with a satin matte coverage and a lightweight texture. Right, I should probably shake it because I haven't used it for a while. So let's just blend it up a little bit. So it's quite a thick, thick consistency. It is full coverage, and if I remember correctly, it's not a foundation that feels light. It actually, you you know you're wearing foundation when you put this one on. But what I do like, I mean, one of the things about Tarte is their brushes. Their brushes, so, you know, I talked about their eyeshadow palettes, but their brushes as well. To me, my favorite brush brands are Sigma and Tarte, their brushes are the best so if you can ever get hold of any Tarte brushes just just get them you know if they're ever if you ever see them at a really decent price or they're on offer anywhere don't think twice about it just get them and you will notice the difference how good Tarte brushes are they are so much better than some of the brands we get some of the beauty boxes like Luxie and so forth I mean Luxie is all right but it's it's just not that good I mean, it's better than Morphe brushes. I know people go on about Morphe brushes, but Morphe brushes are never all right as well, but they don't last long. I mean, I've, I've had Morphe brushes and they have fallen apart over time, but my Sigma brushes are still standing and my Tarte brushes are still standing. You can wash them a hundred times and they still look good. Okay, I think that's enough coverage for me on that one. right so I have done my brows I have set my face I've just set under my eyes as well so I don't tend to use eye sh um, eyeshadow primer I just tend to use my concealer and then I just set my eyes with my setting powder which is just a banana powder which I just put under my eyes and just there as well so let's get on and try the eyeshadow palette that came in the collection so it's a let's have a look so I know it's a lot of neutral shades and it's it's almost too much neutral shades for me but I thought I might be able to do something with this so it's got a really nice quality mirror up above as well so that's what it looks like they say this is exclusive to um, to Tarte but I must admit I've seen this this shade collection 
I mean, it looks exactly the same as the one that was that's in the June boxy charm, which I haven't got as yet. Anyway, so yeah, there was there was a Tarte eyeshadow palette. It's got a different color cover to this. I think it had a different cover to this, but it was it looked exactly the same as this. And in that, they said it was an exclusive for boxy charm. So I think what Tarte are doing, so I think what Tarte are doing are just sending out this palette and just giving individual covers um, and just saying yeah it's an exclusive for you but hey if it sells their product I and mean, then again i know that the shadow quality is going to be really good so let's play let's see what i can do um it's not as i said it's not the kind of shades that i would normally go for but let's see what we can do with it yeah okay so first i'm going to just do my all over lid color so i'm going to use this shade here here and just do that all over my lid you can see how pigmented it is so the fairer you are the better this is going to show up and it's got that familiar tart fragrance of all of their palettes it's just like a faint vanilla it's like vanilla chocolate it's a really lovely fragrance and i can tell you the fragrance lasts the whole time with the palette because that palette i showed you at the beginning it's, I can still smell it, it's the same fragrance all the way through. All right, so I've got that on. So, yep, so that's all over. That's literally my skin tone for my eyes there. Let me bring you in a bit closer so we can see what's going on here. See the bags under my eyes. I'm not sleeping very well at the moment. I think it's because it's just so hot. I also think I need to turn my mattress around as well. So I'm gonna have to try and get my husband to help me turn the mattress around. Right, let's go for, I'm gonna use this dark shade here see if that shows up and see if I can just do the depths around so let's have a look let's see is it showing up showing up a little bit so I think this palette is going to be very much natural natural sort of look makeup look on my skin tone but I think on lighter skin tones you could probably do a really sort of nice natural looks and you could also do a probably a good day to night smoky look as well it blends out so well they're such good quality shadows I know I sound like I'm maxing lyrical about the Tarte eyeshadows but they are they're that good I just they're just a little bit boring when it comes to the shades they come out with because nearly every palette they come out with it's always very much these neutral colors that's why I haven't really bought any eyeshadow palettes from Tarte in years there hasn't been that much of a variant so when I saw that remix one I just had to get it okay so that is showing up isn't it yeah can you see that that does show up let's go for another color here let's try I'm intrigued by this pale pink. It looks like it's a matte color. So let's see how that shows up. I'm hoping it doesn't look too powdery and ashy, but who knows, let's try it out and see what it's like. Yeah, it's a little, yeah, it's a little bit sort of dull on my skin tone. But again, if I just wanted that natural, no makeup look look, you know no makeup makeup look this would kind of do it but to be honest it's quite boring actually isn't it it's not a little bit boring it's actually very boring oh that looks really boring it's fine for work but it just looks really powdery i mean it looks fine it's just powdery and a bit dull i want a little bit more excitement than that let's see if i can jazz this up a little bit what else have we got here so we've got some gold shimmer shades here so we've got this one here got that one there and we've got this more gold one here so let's try I'm gonna try this one here there's no names to the shades or is there oh there is oh there is names so the one I'm trying is called crystallized so the names are on the back of the palette I don't know if you can see that all you can see is a reflection of all my dressing table right let's try putting that along here see what that does it's very much 
um, a typical look that I tend to wear all the time and I really want to step out of my comfort zone so this for me is actually very boring nothing wrong with it it's just a little I just want a bit more excitement so I'm glad I bought that other eyeshadow palette okay all I'm gonna do now because I don't think there's much more I can really do with this palette I'm gonna use this color up here and just highlight under my brows so let's just do that there yeah that kicks up yeah we can see that and what I'm going to do I'm just going to go under my eyes a bit as well Okay, I think that's as much as I can do with that. So I'm gonna put some eyeliner on, brush away this, and I might put on a little bit of blush. I'm not sure if I should do any contour today. So I'll just do some blush and do my eyeliner. Yeah, back in a bit. into the palette and just use one of the glimmer shades as a highlighter because nothing that says that it's strictly for eyes you've got a palette like this use it so I'm just going to use this color at the top which is what color is that one that is sunbeam so I'm just going to use that as a highlighter because I think it will work yes it does it's almost like a rosy gold highlighter so it does work it's a little bit pigmented a little bit too pigmented I'll just brush a little bit off I'll brush the excess off but it makes it look like I've got cheekbones so that's why I like doing stuff like this just dab away some of that shadow it's a little bit too strong just need to be a little bit more light-handed with it next time but yeah that looks all right okay all right so let's try the mascara that came in this palette so the mascara is one of their new launches from Tarte it's called the big ego um what did they say about it let's get my phone out again so we've got the big ego a new lash hero boost your lash confidence with the new big ego mascara in a jet black shade this this mascara works to leave your lashes looking curled lengthened and volumized plus with a twisted double fiber bristle brush this vegan formula certainly packs a punch all right let's see how much of a punch it packs so this is what it looks like so it's a nice big fluffy head now a little bit it's almost, I don't know if it's picking up on the camera, but it's almost like a double helix kind of thing going on there. But let's try this on, see how it looks on my, my short little eyelashes. I don't know if you've noticed that my eyelashes are getting a little bit longer because I have been using the Jamaican, um, the Sun Isle Jamaican Black Castor Oil Eyelash and Brow Serum I got in one of my treasure tresses. I think it was the May treasure tress box. And I have been using that and it has made a difference to my brows, definitely. That's where I see the difference most. And my eyelashes have just got a little bit longer. Not much, but they are longer than they used to be. So naturally, even if I haven't got mascara on, I can now see my eyelashes. Whereas before you couldn't see a darn thing. Okay, this mascara is quite nice. It's not the really thick stuff. Um like the benefit bad gal bang because I, I compare everything to the benefit bad gal bang which i've now run out of i've gone through three tubes of that stuff since it launched and i haven't repurchased it because i've got so many other mascaras i want to get through but i know when i've run out again i will be going back to it Okay, so that's one coat. Looks alright with one coat. Let's go back in for a second coat. Quite 
quite lengthening it in and it's very much um, nicely separates as well it's not clumpy or cloggy so that's good this is actually not a bad mascara I think you would see it better if I didn't have the thick eyeliner I did go a little bit heavy on the eyeliner didn't I let's see what all right, that's as much as you're going to get from me with the eyelashes. Um, so mascara is actually quite nice. It, it definitely separates. It's not thick and heavy and cakey, but it does lighten. It does lengthen. I can see the difference. I'm not sure if you're picking up much of a difference on the camera. Um, but yeah, no, if I turn to the side, can you see the difference? I'm hoping you can. If I go that way a little bit. Yeah, we're seeing the difference. Don't know. Anyway, that's not a bad mascara actually. So I'm not sure how much it sells separately. I will have a look and I'll put the details up on the screen when I do my editing later. The last thing in the collection is the lip gloss. So gloss is this. It looks like a typical nude colour for white skins, not for black skins. But let's see what they say about it. I mean, no doubt I am going to have to put on a dark lip liner to make this work. So let's see what they say. So we have... Do, 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 do. So this is the H2O Gloss. It's 4mm in Sundress. A universally flattering peachy nude lip gloss shade that will add a lovely touch of shine while working to leave your lips looking hydrated okay all right let's have a look and see what it looks like it's a nice packaging look at that packaging it's really nice and that's what it looks like typical doe foot applicator so i'm just going to put a bit of a mac chestnut to line my lips because that's my go-to lip liner if you can't get hold of the MAC lip liner, because it is a little bit on the pricey side, I think it's about £18, you can always get Colourpop, um, I think it's Colour Pitch. Pitch is a really good dupe for it. And even cheaper is Revolution Beauty shade, I think it's Glory. That's a good, that's a good comparable shade as well. And that sells for about four or five pounds. So, you know, those are good comparators if you don't want to get the MAC chestnut lip liner. So that's what the MAC chestnut looks like. So let's just put this on quickly. Right, so what I've done, I've put the MAC lip liner on. I put it on quite thick, so it covers up nearly most of my lips. And I've kind of left the centre bits bare. So hopefully that will give me a, a nice ombre look to make this shade work for me. But let's see how it looks on me on my skin tone yeah i think i can make it work because i've got the the lip liner on just set my face and I'll come back to you with a finished finished look so that's the finished look using the collection so just to remind you because I have to put the little disclaimer in um, they didn't have the foundation shade for me basically because QVC do do a very limited shade range but fortunately I did have the foundation already in my shade which is rich honey the deeper shade they do on QVC is deep sand the only shade they have left available at the moment is medium sand all the other shades have sold out so this is how the collection looks at me at the moment so the foundation as I said it's a foundation I've worn before it's actually a really nice foundation it gives you a good medium and you can build it up to a full the foundation um, it feels it feels comfortable but you can you can feel you have foundation on in my opinion some people might say no but I've because I've tried so many foundations now, particularly the foundations that have come out this year, they've got such a lighter feel. So when I put on some of my older foundations, I can feel the difference. It's like, okay, yeah, I can feel these. Whereas the, the newer foundations, they feel more like I've just got moisturizer on my skin and you forget about it. But over, overall, as a foundation, it does give a really nice natural matte finish. It is very long lasting. I think they say it's sort of 12 to 16 hour of wear. And I have when I've tested it before it does give that kind of wear it's, it's a 
good performing foundation um, the brush well you've heard me rave go crazy about the brush I just love tart brushes and these large brushes with sort of the bamboo handles and these lo honestly the lovely soft brush heads they're gorgeous they just put your foundation on so beautifully really quick blends it out really nicely and it doesn't absorb that much of the product so you're getting most of the product on your skin not in the in the brush itself they're just great brushes and they last really well they're one of the best quality makeup brushes out there and hands on heart that's what I'm saying here and you know I'm not going to sort of tell lies about it because Tarte have pissed me off quite a few times but when it comes to their brushes I ain't messing about. The eyeshadow palette um, for me on my skin tone it's a little bit boring that's, that's my preference that's it's, it's not my personal taste it's great if you just want to do sort of natural looks and sort of day wear looks it's perfect for that especially if you're not someone who likes to wear more brighter colors I'm a little bit more confident now with makeup so I can step out step out of my comfort zone and wear brighter colors now but if you just want to look polished well made go to work look professional every day go out to the school whatever you want to do these the Tarte eyeshadow palettes are there a lot of their palettes are very much neutral tones and this one is very much along the same lines Good quality shadows they blend out smoothly creamy no fallout whatsoever they blend beautifully and they work well with other products as well they're just great quality eyeshadow palettes I mean honestly when it comes to Tarte and eyeshadow palettes I always tend to give them 10 out of 10 really it's just they're a little bit boring when it comes to shades uh, that they put in their palettes they're, they're like the the kings and queens of neutral shades in their eyeshadow palettes the lip gloss is actually very nice it's very creamy it's not sticky it's not sticky the shade um it works on deep skin tones if it depends on what you like personal taste so i know there are so many people with my skin coloring that quite like wearing shades like this and they don't put on the, the darker lip liners like i do um but i think most of us sort of older people <laughs> <laughs> I, say, but I think we would rather put on a darker lip liner and then put a shade like this on but it is a nice shade it does work um, on lighter skin tones it's going to be a lovely color to wear again beautiful summer color it's, it's an enjoyable lip color and it feels moist it doesn't feel heavy and it doesn't feel sticky so it's very nice I mean, it's called a, I think it's supposed to be water based I don't know why but it's it's really really nice and the mascara well the mascara performed pretty well um, would I rate it against because I think my favorite Tarte mascara is the camera lights action mascara I haven't worn that in a few years actually so I probably need to do a comparison of the two but this mascara is actually really nice um, it does it's a nice jet black color it, it's not cakey it's not cloggy so you're not going to get clumps of eyelashes um, clumps of products on your eyelashes it does lengthen and it does separate so it looks like especially for someone like me with really short stuff lashes it does look as if you've got on a nice pair of light feather false eyelashes on so it does do that so even people with short stubby lashes like me you'll get some some use out of that so it's a very nice mascara so overall as a collection really good value I mean I paid 45 pounds roughly I paid for the whole thing that's really good value because I think this foundation alone is about 30 pounds they sell these brushes for about 20 something the eyeshadow palettes always go for about 30 pounds the mascaras go for about 16 to 18 pounds and i can't remember how much they sell their lip glosses for but no they're not cheap so i think i've done pretty well with that and don't forget you get your little bag with the pom-poms <laughs> you get your little bag with the pom-poms as well yeah so it's actually a really really cool collection so i'm now going to just pack this all up and give this to my daughter because she's been feeling a little bit i think she's worried about her exam results and all of that and it's summer holidays long stretch summer holidays um she's not at that stage where she's confident enough to go and sit for job interviews yet so she's just kind of feeling a little bit weird at the moment she's got a long summer holiday not quite sure what to do with herself i'm suggest i'm suggesting that she goes out and does some volunteering because that will make her it'll take her out of herself take her mind off herself basically and take her out no, just get her out of her own mind out of her own headspace put that all in the case 
and there you go I'm going to go and give that to her now so there you go I think this looks all right it's good for a day wear look actually so if you did get hold of the collection what did you think of it did you are you enjoying it I think it's all right so it's it's, it's a good collection when QVC do these collections it's always worth grabbing hold of them, getting them, trying them out because don't forget with QVC you can have the product, try the product out for a good 30 days and then send it back if you don't want it and then you'll get your full refund, well not full refund, you don't get your postage and packaging back um, and that's why it was really good that postage and packaging was only £1.95 during that beauty period. So yeah, I think this looks alright. Alright guys, take care thanks for very much for watching if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up down below and if you haven't done so already what are you waiting for you know what you've got to do all you need to do is just press subscribe down below and join the gang all right take care guys bye